defensive quarter in the fourth quarter, um, and then can shoot for particularly well. So that combination of those two things, they made some good plays. Uh, we got a little cold from the field. Uh, that kind of combined led for a big fourth quarter for them and not the best from us. As far as, you know, down the stretch, what this team came in doing so well, what was, you know, as far as, you know, imposing their will there, it seemed like kind of got you guys a little bit out of sorts offensively is what led to it, but also just, you know, the physicality of this game here today, it seemed like down the stretch you guys had a lot of good looks but just didn't have the capacity to finish there at the rim. Yeah, yeah, we got to the paint quite a bit. They did a good job of really starting to stay home uh, and collapse in the paint, and we didn't finish quite as well as we did in the first half. Um, looking at it, first half, we probably shot 45-ish, 46%. Second half, it looks like 31%, and it's a big discrepancy where we've just got to go up strong and finish, where instead of baiting for a foul or, or kind of just throwing it up, going up with the intention to score. Uh, as far as performances today, uh, very impressive performance for Mia Hubri. You know, 29 points on a day where Katie Tornstrom was struggling just a little bit. Uh, as far as, you know, early on here uh, through a couple of tough games, going back to your guys' games out there on the road in Kansas, what have you liked to see from the ability of this team to kind of find scoring from different uh, players? Yeah, I mean, our system is a lot of movement that kind of gets the ball in everybody's hands, so it gives everybody the chance to contribute and make plays. Um, and we've had a lot of success in terms of multiple scores and multiple double-digit scores, and uh, that's going to be big for us to have more consistency with that because how we play and how we want to play is fast at pace. Everybody touches the ball. The ball moves around a lot. Um, and in this day, it was me to have a big day. As far as, you know, potentially maybe a benefit to schedule, you can tell me otherwise here, but it's a quick turnaround, right? Obviously, you guys got to go out on the road here on Monday and go up against Umzel, searching for that first conference victory. As far as... Maybe not as having as much time to regroup and kind of work on some things, but maybe just to get this one out of your minds uh, as far as looking ahead to that first road conference game. Uh, what is the expectation? What is it what you're hoping for going into that one? Yeah, we got to move on quick. We don't have much time to, to sit in this one. Um, so we got to reflect quickly, get ready for our game on Monday. Uh, and it's going to be a completely different game. Uh, I'm still the exact opposite in Indy in terms of the style of play. So um, we've got to get to work. We've got to put together a good scout, have a good practice, get some rest, recover, uh, and then head on down to St. Louis. Finish off the court for the Peacocks. Dribble drive inside. Yes, there it is. Able yeah, to we'll get that one to go. And now Upper Iowa trying to push the pace. Staley right up the gut. She is stopped by Wells. Back outside. Huberty, three point shot. Yes, got it. Am. And officially, 43 42. He's still not better than Jordan, though. <laughs> oh boy, we want to make sure we keep some of our viewers here, Mike. <laughs> Maybe we gain some, I don't know. There we go. How about that from the side? Brooke yeah. even. This would be the first time that she's shot under 40%, most likely from three, unless she really gets on a an absolute oh, run team. here. But she's going to make up for it with the defensive play. Just under five minutes now here in the third. Staley now on a dribble drive. Gets into the paint, back outside. Tornstrom, she's got space. Corner, three-point shot. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. Finally did today. Her presence has been felt as of late. Under four minutes left to go. They're going to dump it down low to Jakaius. She's going to try to hit a pass, but there's Tornstrom once again in the pass. You know, and I think you let, I think you let Jada Haynes, you know, beat you with that shot there. You know, it's a low percentage shot for cool. most. That's a high percentage shot. How much you can do about that? Tornstrom guarded on the cut. Here comes Huberty, dribble drive with the right hand. Nice up nice and move. under move. Woo. And Mia Huberty continues to. a better to job of making sure they put a body on a body. Um, we've done a great job rebounding so far. But we got to continue that. How about a hand? Hands of Huberty once again. Nice, nice cut, cut there by Tornstrom. Can she finish? No, oh. she can't. Evenson over the back. There no call. Go. And Evenson gets the two down points. To ten. Tough pass there. Bohr able to collect it. Clock down to seven. What a whip pass to the corner to Tornstrom. Can UIU take advantage of it? Tornstrom in the lane. Yes, she can. What For her, her fifth three-pointer. Yes. Oh, she's tough. Tornstrom now. Three-point shot. Yes, ma'am. Tornstrom on the board. Off. Back out to Nelson. Job, get out and reset it. Evenson now faces up against Ortiz. Hand off, Tornstrom. As she's able to knock down the mid range shot as Staley now against oh. Ortiz. This Good is a heavyweight play. clash right here. Staley pumping it back outside. Tornstrom with the screen. Nelson with the three. Yes, oh. ma'am. Sydney Nelson Just making the ball it. there. As up Rivers sticks with it. Hubri now. For three, three point shot. Short. It's short. Rebound, though, is loose. She grabs it, follows the shot inside once again, and she gets two there. 